And the end of the legislative session, sort of like the end of the school year, if all the finals were held on the last day. As of this morning, there were 88 bills left. Both chambers have spent the day working to bring that number down. Megan Lopez looks at some of the action of the last day of the session. Third reading, it's known as signy die, the last day of the legislature and a last chance for lawmakers to pass meaningful bills before next year. It's also normally a day full of frivolity with special performances. There's a special person in the chamber. Tributes to members who are leaving the legislature and a lot of shenanigans. And while there certainly was some of that this year, it was also a race to the finish. Legislators are a lot like high schoolers. We save all of the work until the very end. And there's something good to that, right? The pressure of knowing we have to end by midnight tonight means that conversations happen. That means speeding through dozens of votes. And a lot of significant bills, some of the controversial ones, were left for the final hours. We've seen some bills die, die in committee. Uh, we've seen some bills get amended. After negotiations, lawmakers were able to pass a producer responsibility bill to stand up a statewide recycling program. The election integrity bill also passed, as did a bill to speed up the Tabor refund so that each taxpayer will see $500 back toward the end of the summer. A couple others died, including two wildfire bills, a bill to offer a tax credit for people who buy anti-porch pirate devices, and one to ban drivers from talking on the phone while driving without a hands-free device. For the bills where the House and Senate couldn't agree, members from both chambers were literally brought to the table to come up with a compromise. But pretty much everything's settled. Uh, it's been a, a really tough couple of weeks. But at midnight, all that stops, something all of them are looking forward to. We have done a lot of really great work this year. There's so much energy, so much emotion, so many highs and lows as bills are going through there. The end of the legislative session, sort of like the end of the school year, if all the finals were on the last day. Megan Lopez, News 5. And in November, voters will decide if Colorado should provide free school lunches to all public school students. It's called the Healthy School Meals for All program. It would reimburse schools for providing meals for students not eligible for free or reduced lunches under the federal program. Funding will come from capping itemized deductions and the standard state income tax deduction for taxpayers with an income over $300,000.